Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, 2021 Skate Canada just wrapped up this weekend, and I wanted to see how well my predictions played out, starting out with the men. The men was more or less how I imagined. Everyone in my top six was in the top six. Nathan Chen won the event, guaranteeing himself a ticket to the Grand Prix. It wasn't a perfect outing for him. Um, it seems that he has some kind of hip injury, which may be the reason as to why his performance in Skate America wasn't um, so good, and also why his jumps were so tense this time around. He's keeping the remix version of Nemesis, not a favorite, but this outing was much better than last. So I guess now he'll have a couple of weeks to recuperate his injury to get himself together and prepare for the Grand Prix final. Um, this, you know, this was not absolutely a kill outing for Nathan, but it didn't really harm him in any way. So I also think what happened at Skate America was a good thing for Nathan. Because before this, there was so much pressure of him being unbeatable, so much pressure of him being a definite for the Olympics, that I was kind of afraid that he would have another meltdown at the Olympics. The fact that he already had his mistakes right now, the fact that now people are saying he's not unbeatable, I think will make him even more focused and more hungry. And going into the Olympic, this may actually help him overcome what ever extreme amount of pressure he may have had. Guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, in second place at this event, and I had had him in fourth place, but I really wanted him to be on the podium and the skating gods heard me and answered my prayer was Jason Brown. Oh my God, Jason Brown's, the short program, Sion, was everything, everything. I would love to see that short program live and in person. I agree with Brian also. Jason didn't put a foot wrong in that short program. The long was not the best outing for Jason. He did try the quad south. It was really under. He was called for it. But, I mean, at least he's trying it in competition. And he also had a fall on the triple axel. But otherwise, this program will be such an Olympic moment the transitions the step sequence the emotions the feelings he put in it i pray that he can skate this program clean at the olympic i don't even care about medals i don't care about jumps if he could just take out the quad just do the triple axel and then do a bunch of triples and just do a clean technical part of the program so that he can let loose in the performance this will be everything like th this will be the olympic moments for men if jason can skate this program i'm um, clean coming in third was yevgeny um semenenko i had had him actually in second place as i said yevgeny is a jumper what he lacks in an artistry and skating skill he makes up for in tenacity and in jumps say what you will about the program but you cannot say he is not committed. Yevgeny sells his programs and he fights for every point. I think he's definitely in a good position to get that second spot to the Olympics. He has a couple of more competitions ahead of him, but he he's proven that he's not a one-time hit, one-hit wonder. He's proven that there's more to him. We're just going to have to wait and see. Makar Ignatov, this was actually a pretty good outing for him. Only one fall on the quad loop. He had a good short program, landed both quads, and the long program was relatively clean for him. I mean, I, I couldn't have asked more from his performance than this. I wish Maka was a little less tense on the ice, but hopefully as he becomes more consistent, as he competes more this season, he'll be able to relax a little bit more and his jumps will be a little more flowy. All in all, this was a very good outing for him. He didn't hurt himself at all. Keegan Messing. I had him on the podium as well. 
Keegan looked so good. He's clean cut. He's shaven. He looked well rested. He looked refreshed. That short program was fabulous. I had absolutely no question that he would be on the podium. However, this was just a repeat performance for him because that long was rough for Keegan. That fall he took straight on his chin, face to the ice. Ooh, that looked painful. I mean, the crowd and the judges tried to help as best as they could, but that just wasn't enough. The program just got away from him. The jumps just got away from him. I think at the end of the day, the program just needs more mileage. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing Keegan at the Grand Prix Final, but I do think he still is the leading man for Canada. Honestly speaking, I, I don't see any possibilities where Keegan does not go to the Olympic for Canada. Um, rounding up the top six was Maurice um, Ketelashvili. I thought Maurice would have a great short and a rough long. However, his short was a hot mess. I was so surprised that Itheri was in that kiss and cry with him. After that short program, I, I thought it would just be Danny G sitting there with him. He did do a good job in the long, coming back and fighting, landing all his jumps. I definitely think Maurice will medal at Europeans if the Russian men don't show up. But otherwise, horrible short, but pretty good long for him. Overall, the men, this was another messy outing for them. Not as much falling as there was in Skate Canada, but still far from clean. I, I can only hope that as the season progress, the men get it together a little more and they start skating more cleanly. Um, How about you? What did you think of the men's performance at Skate Canada? Let me know in the comments.